This is a Jack Poik barrel sleeve for shotguns. This version is for a double barrel, either side by side or over and under. You can get the single barrel versions. This part here is just a cut off, just to show you that it fits okay onto the side by side. The one thing to note though is with the side by side, the rib in the middle is quite narrow. The front sight is quite small and this sleeve it fits over quite nice. It's a good fit for a side by side. It's very easy to cut. You obviously want the required length. I found these are supplied just a little bit longer than needed. And to the touch, to the feel, it's quite smooth, quite warm and I think it's quite good perhaps in the winter. It'll offer good protection for your barrels while you're getting them out of the cabinet, putting them into the cabinet. They always get a, a few little dinks, scratches, a bit of knock. Just catch them on the door, things like that. But out in the field is perhaps the most important. It's a good fit on the side by side. But on my over and under, I found that it was quite a tight squeeze. You'll note that the rib in the centre is quite a bit larger and the top rib running along the full length of the barrels is quite large and quite wide as well and this means you have to stretch the cover quite a bit to get it on. Plus the front sight it's quite large compared to the side by side. Again obviously it feels nice Quite a smooth, comfortable grip to the barrel. I know you don't shoot holding the barrel, but you do hold and move the gun around with the barrel. And if you've got sweaty hands, this will certainly keep the fingerprints off the blue in and help protect the gun finish. I've cut this, that's where the stock comes to. I've cut this so it finishes just there. So if you add on the extra piece that I put onto this side by side, the full length you've got more than enough. This happens to be a 30 inch over and under, and there's certainly enough material there for a longer gun as you've got. I've yet to try it out, get a single barrel version to fit my semi auto, but the principle's the same a nice protective covering for your barrel. It's in camouflage as you can see, some tree bark, a bit of a twig, there's brown leaves, like a grey colour, a brown colour, green leaves, nicely detailed and patterned. The stitching seems good, I will point out that the stitching come apart there, but this was due to the sleeve being cut. And obviously I should have tacked it up first, just to hold the end of it into place. But unfortunately with stretching it over my barrel, it's quite wide, quite lumpy, it forced the stitching apart. But once I did get it on, the stitching does hold quite good. So I think it's just, perhaps you ought to note that if you do use one of these, and you do cut it to length, Perhaps a, a tack stitch at the end just to help keep it in place. It's not that they've pulled apart and ripped, it's that the stitching come undone and just with the force of trying to get it over the barrel, the stitching just come apart. It's just the way stitching works I suppose when you're trying to stretch something over. So definitely worth trying to tack it up. I'd obviously done it a little bit too late. I should have done it before and not after I put it on the gun. The proof of the pudding obviously though, as it's camouflage, does it work out in the field? Does this cover the gun barrel? Does it hide it? Does it help you to blend in with the background into the bushes, whatever you require? Even if you're not looking for camouflage, I think it's a nice good covering for the barrel. I personally are testing and trying out to see if it is camouflaged 
and it does work that was the main initial reason why I bought it but I'm quite happy just to have it on the barrel for the moment just for protection purposes at least I think it's only fair to perhaps compare this against the the tape that I use the camouflage tape the wrap around style stuff that I use on the shotguns I use that for the same purpose barrel protection and for camouflage so what I'm going to do now is show a few clips with and without the barrel sleeve in place while I've actually been out using the gun I don't know what you'll think of the clips in some clips you'll definitely see that the camouflage is on this uh, barrel sleeve some you'll see that it is definitely off and then perhaps I'm just thinking that you might say I'm not sure whether it's on or off but I'll leave you with that and let you make your own mind up but a few clips just to let you see what it looks like out in the field you've seen it now without the sleeve fitted so let's just see a few with it fitted and see what you think You've seen a few without the sleeve fitted, let's try it with, see what the difference is. Now we'll try a few with the sleeve, without the sleeve, with the sleeve. Just mix them up, see if you can spot the difference. Watching that with and without, could you tell the difference? I've now been using this sleeve for quite some time. Stretchy, soft, nice neoprene material, camouflaged. As an item, I think it's quite good in, in the way that it protects the barrel. I'm quite happy to have it on and it protects against dinks and scratches, moving it around, knocking it against a barbed wire fence, getting it in and out of the cabinet things like that so it, it certainly has a value it certainly has a worth on the gun but looking at it from a camouflage item 
to help the gun blend in with the surroundings. If you're using camouflage, then is it doing that sort of job? Quite often if you're in a hide and you mount the gun, you might give it a bit of a tap against the hide pole, uh, the one that holds the net in front of you. There's all sorts of situations where a cover like this could prove very valuable and very much worth the money. But I'm looking at the camouflage side of it at the moment, not the protection. Just looking at it from the camouflage side of things, I think it's a nice design, a nice pattern. It certainly looks good. Looking at it, you've got a tree bark effect, some light greys that you see on some trees, autumn leaf colours, lightish and dark, oranges, browns, whatever you want to describe them as. It's also got the greens. And there's also small detail like the vein part of the leaves and the stalks, little twigs on the trunks for branches, more twig effects there. So it's quite a good detailed camouflage pattern. But as you see, at a distance, you don't notice these finely detailed things. And comparing it against a more what you would call vague camouflage patterns such as DPM which is just plain browns, greens, black stripes and dots. Does the camouflage look good? Is it any better? I've been using this sleeve now in a variety of situations by that I mean cloudy and dull, almost to the point of raining. I've also used it in overcast days but it was still nice and bright. And sunlight. And there's quite a marked difference between the bright days and the darker days. Plus you could be sat under a tree, hidden inside a bush, trying to blend in. And the position you are and where the gun is used could make a difference. Some material, as you can tell from this, is very reflective. That's a plain card, ordinary cardboard. This is plastic coated and certainly a bit of a signal there gives the game away. And I'm just wondering if this material is the same sort of thing. Does this material on the sleeve itself reflect more light or attract more light? A bit of a difficult subject to try and explain when you know what you're talking about but you, you're trying to explain it. Some material just absorbs the light and it's non-reflective, a matte effect. Different between matte paint, gloss paint you could say. Some material are more shiny than others. And just showing these cardboards as an example. They're both cardboard, but one's a bit more shiny than the other. And I think it's the case as well with material. <laughs> 